Now it is time for the lightning round. Oh, guys. Okay. This is what I'm nervous about, for sure. She's been so hyped about this. Oh, I'm gonna ask you some shit, do some shit. Do some shit. When I was reading the questions, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, I was curious. I don't I don't actually know what the answer to these questions are. So this is all up in Amber's panties. Oh, great. That's what we're calling this round. Ass or tits? Both. Besides Dan Taylor, who is your celebrity crush and who's your YouTube crush? I had to let her go. Okay, first of all. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Rihanna, YouTube crush. Andrea's choice. There's another one too. Superwoman. <laughs> I made you. Think. You know what she knows. Oh my god. Okay. And you. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> what is your favorite sexual fantasy that you would love to try? My sexual fantasy would be like to receive when I'm like not expecting it. I think that's something that's really cool. In public? Oh, in public? Is that what your fantasy is? No, I wouldn't say in public. Just like when I'm busy doing something and then all of a sudden it's like, oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. You know what I'm that's saying? That's a very tame fantasy. Surpri being surprised. Is I'm it like, tame? Yeah, like at Chick-fil-A. That's a fantasy. Like I did have a fantasy that I wanted to like have sex in like all different places. You know what I'm saying? In Paris on a balcony or in a fucking hot air balloon. And in Ferris wheel, I've done that one. Um, you know, stuff like that. Oh, you did the Ferris wheel. I did the Ferris okay, wheel. Okay, good. Number of girls you've hooked up with. Ooh. This question was asked multiple times, by the way. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna name the six girlfriends that I've had. Most of my relationships, there's only a few that were like less than a year. Most of them were at least two years or so. And then on top of that, I don't have one night stands or anything, so it's like people, maybe friends. We, I'm gonna say like nine. You had nine sexual partners? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. I didn't know. Thank you. That's a pretty low number. Yeah. I was expecting a lot higher. Really? Yeah. I can't be getting these goodies out from what crazy you see on your Instagram. You're like, she was a different girl every third. Y'all just judging me. They're just friends. They're can't just give friends. them out. Can't give them out. They think we're having sex too. They do think that, but we're not. We're not yet. Yet. <laughs> gentle or hardcore? A gentle. I've been told I'm a sensual, passionate person. I don't want to be hard on the girl. Like I'm. I'm care about or love or whatever unless it's the moment there's always a moment for that right she also asked so are you a screamer no I'm not a screamer that's for you know the person I'm pleasing so are you silent as fuck then I mean I would say I'm quiet boring I get I mean it you have to be there to hear so you're one of those like nah I'm not no I'm, I'm not just coming. like a dead body are you like a <laughs> or are you like a <sighs> Not a, not the second one. <laughs> I mean, I'm still a woman, so I'm gonna go with that first noise. Are you a high pitch? Do it again. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> now you know. It just got warmer <laughs> fucking here. The favorite positions is hard to answer because there's a favorite position for, you know, if I'm strapping or getting hit or whatever. So how can I answer that? One at a time, bitch. Oh my god. For strapping, I would say, you know, doggy style. For getting head, I guess, I would say where I'm kind of like, sitting down or like sitting on an edge where I'm like half standing up, half sitting down. What do you mean half standing up? Like if I was like to lean on the edge of this chair and then like... Kind of worshipping a little bit. Oh my Days god! Like you're in the would. prayer position <laughs> on the knees. I get that. You prefer uh, scissoring or 69? Okay, what the hell? Scissoring is not a real legit, like, that's a stereotype for lesbian women. We don't just be in here, you know what I'm saying? That's like for movies and like pornos and that aren't actually lesbian women doing it. But yeah, I'm gonna go with 69 all day. Scissoring, you actually explained to me that there are some good Oh ones. yeah, yeah, there's different ways to quote unquote scissor because in scissoring, they are talking about the vagina and to vagina and like whatever. But there's different ways, like there's, a girl can sit on me right now in a certain angle like we grind and we're hitting each other, you know what I'm saying? Or turn around and you know, like I can't just give you guys all these visuals, but there's so many different, <laughs> I'm you know, this. <laughs> positions to try to get that. And scissoring is just not it. That's not it. This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> what is happening? Marimba asked, what was the weirdest thing you've actually tried but ended up enjoying? You know, put my toes in their mouth and that was really awkward. And I was like, oh wait, hold up. You do have nice feet. Thank you. <laughs> you always get the pedicure, I always see that. Like, yeah, I try, you know? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Okay. Are you dominant or submissive when having sex? Oh, I'm definitely a dominant one. We already said that. Lights off or lights on? I like to be like, the, you don't know what's about to happen. Lights off, I'm just about to, you know? And I feel like sometimes with women in general, they get more a little bit more comfortable in the dark. So if that freak comes out in the dark, turn those lights off. Lights off, boo. Yeah. What age were you when you first had sex? 16. 
I don't give two fucks ass if the world was about to end and the only way you could save it was by having sex with a man, would you do it and with who? Oh my God. Okay, to save the world, of course I'm gonna say yes, but if I'm gonna choose a person, it's gonna be one of my gay homeboys that I call my baby daddy because if I'm gonna be uncomfortable, you are too. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think we just do it and get it done and just be like, oh, don't look at me in the face. Like <laughs> what is the sexiest move you did in bed? Well, this one time um, I would say, you know, I had a threesome, but I wouldn't say it was just a, like a threesome. I was in a relationship with two women, so every time we had sex, it was a threesome. At one point in time, like I was doing this crazy position where I was like pleasing them both, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's a lot of work and a lot of concentration. So I would say that that's the sexiest thing because they both orgasmed at the same time. Really? Same time? Yeah, I think the best thing ever, I'm, I'm sorry, this is so much information I'm putting out there, was they both um, went down on me at the same time and they, they were kind of kissing them, kissing each other down there. That was girl. The rest of the video you could throw out. The, that's all people, that's it. Make this a 30 second Instagram video. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. That was, yeah, that was a lot of information. Woo! Mm. She did not say that the first time. She did not say that. I just remembered. That. I just yeah. remembered. <laughs> Who forgets that? Oh, I thought there was going to be a threesome question in there. So let me throw that in there because I forgot about that. because you're conservative and shy about sex, I didn't think that you've had a double orgasm threesome while two girls were simultaneously using their unicorn horns to please you. I did not realize that's been your life. All right, Amber's Closet. Okay, Amber's Closet. If I was young, okay? I'm a one woman woman now, and that was a fun time. We all agreed, it was good. It sounds great. It sounds great. I wish that it was recorded, but it probably wasn't. Do you have any fetishes? I don't have anything um, abnormal that needs to happen. But you know what, I'm not judging it. If there's a girl that I'm really into that says, Amber, I need you to dress up like a vampire and act like you're gonna bite me every time we have sex, I will do that every time. See, I don't have any fetishes, but I'm not sure that's because I'm not experienced enough. I think fetishes are kind of like an unlocked territory for a lot of people. <laughs> I wouldn't have sex if I find you sexually attractive. There's no real like extra shit in there. You know? I have some kinks, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Kinks are something different. Kinks are like- Name one. Said. I'm a voyeurism. I love voyeur- I love to be watched. Oh, like, oh you like to be watched? Yes. Oh, wow. I'm like a BDSM beginner. Bondage discipline Whoa. is in Mac is Oh Mac is shit! Oh shit! When you get tied up in a whips and tang boy, you have your arms all strap up, strap up, and you know. I'm really shy, but I think I could do it. I gotta be the dominant one in the mask, though. No, I think you have to be the submissive one. Hell no! I think you need to try. No something. way! But that's the thing, though. This is what people. makes. I'm be tied sense. up and you slip something in there. <laughs> no way! There's no way. The booty slip or vaginal hole slip? Vaginal hole slip. You would rather someone slip a carrot up your butt than inside you? Yep. Really? Hell yeah. I've had a colonic before and I can deal with that. Don't stick anything in my vagina. We have to investigate this further. <laughs> Don't get around me on some handcuffs, Amber. I will be experimenting like a mug. Oh lord. I, we gotta go at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video with Shannon. When I decided that I wanted to, you know, finally kind of put out a sexual video because I never talk about this, I had to have Shannon here and so we're so lucky to have Shannon. I learn from her all the time. I hope you guys learned something from this other than my personal business. Yeah, um, we as far as, you know, what she said. You guys definitely go out and follow Shannon, support her, subscribe to her. If you haven't seen her in videos with me, she has a channel, she's amazing. And then follow her on IG because she does a lot of things on TV where she talks about you know, sexual things to, you know, uh, women across America or even in Canada and across the world. such a good friend, guys. Oh, I'm such Honestly, a big fan. She's such a good friend. God. Like, she just knows. All right, you guys, love you. Peace. I'm gonna change my answer. If you can give me an introduction like that, I just might have sex with you. Oh, I made the cut. At that note, we're I gonna end cut. this video. I made the cut. <laughs>